Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Frame Relay. Specifically within Frame Relay, we are going to be looking at troubleshooting Frame Relay. So this is Frame Relay Troubleshooting Lab number two. And what I'm going to do first is explain our network diagram, and then we're going to be given two tickets to solve in this troubleshooting lab. So we have three routers in this diagram, and then we have a Frame Relay switch. We have router 1, which is using its serial 00 interface. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's bring up all of the interfaces on the routers. So I can go ahead and show you what interfaces are being used where. So router 1, 2, and 3 are using their serial 00 interfaces to connect to the frame relay switch. The frame relay switch is connected to router 1 via its serial 00 interface. The frame relay switch serial 01 interface is connecting to router 2. And the frame relay switch serial 00 slash 2 interface is connecting to router 3. Also in this diagram, the frame relay switch is providing clocking and will be the DCE side. And we will be performing and running with Cisco encapsulation in this lab. Also the network that we're using is a 192.168.123.0 slash 24. So router 1 is the dot 1, router 2 is the dot 2, and router 3 is the dot 3 in that subnet. And also, as we can see from our diagram, we are using DELC 102 and 103 on R1. We are using DELC 201 on R2 and DELC 301 on R3. So DELC 103 on R1 is connecting to DELC 301 on R3. DELC 102 on R1 is connecting to DELC 201 on R2. So that is the network topology. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first trouble ticket and start troubleshooting frame relay. So here we have frame relay troubleshooting lab number one. We have two trouble tickets again. The first ticket says that you have been tasked to fix a connectivity issue between R1 and R2. The issue is that R1 cannot ping R2. Your boss has given you access to the customer network and is counting on, counting on you to get the issue fixed by the end of the day. How many times have we heard that one? Configure the network so that R1 can ping R2 with 100% success. You are not allowed to use inverse ARP to fix this issue. So again, inverse ARP allows the layer 2 DELSI to map to the layer 3 IP address. And what inverse ARP allows that to do is to do it dynamically if it's enabled under the interface, which it is by default. So we're going to steer clear of inverse ARP for the first ticket at least. So again, it's always good to read all the way through the ticket first before you start, because if you would have just stopped after the configure sentence,